Max Laughlin, a highly gifted child, claims that Kern scientists opened a gateway to another dimension in 2022. We've been in a different timeline ever since, and no one but a few geniuses like Laughlin has noticed. Are the tests at the Large Hadron Collider really disrupting our reality? The dimensional gates have opened on July 7, 2022, at 5, 18 a.m., a shocking discovery was made. A mysterious crack appeared in the Earth's magnetic field. The crack came out of nowhere and remained open for a full 14 hours. This anomaly allowed solar winds to flow into the Earth's magnetic field, causing a strong geomagnetic disturbance. How did this crack suddenly appear? And what does it have to do with tests at the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva? Researchers quickly came up with an explanation saying that the crack in the Earth's magnetic field was caused by a unique phenomenon called crottering interaction rigging. This is a phenomenon in solar physics that results from the interaction of different solar wind streams. The solar wind consists of charged particles ejected by the sun into space. These streams of particles never move uniformly in all directions, but have different speeds and densities. Near the sun, sometimes several of these solar wind streams meet and overlap, forming very large plasma formations that have a special effect on the Earth's magnetic field. Unlike ordinary plasma streams, they can apparently tear a real hole in the Earth's magnetic field. Interaction rigging is still not sufficiently studied to be able to say what consequences it really leads to. Interestingly, it was at this time that three new exotic particles were discovered at the Geneva Collider, including a new pentaquark and the first pair of tetraquarks, including a brand new tetraquark. Scientists claim that the Large Hadron Collider, located deep underground, is completely safe and does not interact with the outside world in any way. But can this be true? After all, we are traveling here into the subatomic sphere precisely where matter becomes nothing more than oscillation and rotation with giant empty spaces between tiny particles. Quantum mechanics has long indicated that the building blocks of our matter are multidimensional, that particles of light are in multiple places at once and even cross the barriers of time and space. So how can researchers claim that none of the particles being studied at the controversial facility at CERN transcend or interact with other dimensions of the universe? According to official figures, in a series of tests by the CERN community, 70 new hadrons have been discovered. These are subatomic particles made up of quarks and held together by an elementary force, the strong nuclear force. But critics of the facility argue that Kern is conducting much deeper experiments than is officially known, and it is this that could put us all at risk. It has often been suggested that the organization is trying to create black holes. Unwittingly or intentionally, opening gates to other dimensions that we cannot control. A warning from an unusual child, Max Laughlin is a very gifted boy who has a vast knowledge of quantum physics and the nature of our reality. In one of his videos, he warned that CERN destroyed the old universe when it restarted the facility in April 2022. He claimed that there was an original timeline, but because of the experiment, an anomaly immediately appeared, catapulting us into an infinite number of parallel universes. However, according to quantum physics, there would be nothing too unusual about this. After all, if experiments such as Schrodinger's cat and Wigner's friend are true, then we are all constantly moving through multiple universes using our decisions and dimensions of consciousness. Max Laughlin believes that these experiments have moved humanity as a collective, along with the planet, into another dimension. Most of us were not aware of this. Let's hope this new level of reality is successful. A physics professor from the University of Buffalo, who was involved in the tests, explained that the collider cannot access black holes at the moment because there are still certain limitations. However, Geneva is known to have experienced minor disruptions in the space-time continuum, which is similar in nature to black holes. When this became known, it led to protests against CERN, and a group of people demanded that the particle gas pedal be shut down. Time and time again, strange weather phenomena have occurred around Geneva and locals have reported perceptions that cannot be explained in conventional ways. Several professors and renowned researchers have also spoken out and reaffirmed their confidence in the Large Hadron Collider. The main goal of the current tests at the Particle Accelerator is to learn more about the mysterious fifth force of nature that researchers believe exists. This fifth force, if found, could completely change the dynamics of particle physics Except that so far, no one has actually seen or measured it. Critics of the facility have once again raised a fuss about it. They claim that the researchers are playing God in the bowels of the earth, 
and that no one can really foresee the true consequences of these experiments at this point. The Large Hadron Collider is the largest and most energetic particle accelerator in the world. Its construction took two decades, accompanied by protests and criticism, while more than 10,000 international scientists, 100 universities and institutes, and 100 countries worked on this revolutionary project. Ordinary people in the Swiss city of Geneva feared for their peace and safety. Despite petitions and complaints, the Swiss government and international funding organizations pushed ahead with construction of the facility at a cost of more than 7.5 billion euros. The particle accelerator is located 100 to 175 meters below the surface of the earth. Above it are residential neighborhoods, supermarkets, kindergartens, and roads. Those who do not know about the existence of the facility imagine that they are in a completely ordinary city. In fact, the facility is a 27-kilometer tunnel in the form of a ring consisting of superconducting magnets. Special accelerating structures massively increase the energy of the particles. Two beams of particles travel clockwise and counterclockwise, respectively. At speeds close to the speed of light, the particles collide. It is only through this ultra-fast collision that the particles become measurable. They interact with each other or decay into even smaller particles. The main components of protons are quarks and gluons. Quarks, being subatomic particles, are very unstable and usually decay in a fraction of a second, while gluons are the mediating force. All collisions are recorded by detectors inside the accelerator, and the data is transmitted to a network of computer systems. From the decay and behavior of particles during collisions, researchers hope to learn more about particles far beyond the visible. No human has ever seen, with their own eyes, even a photon or electron individually. Researchers only know these particles exist because they can observe their effects and behavior. The first collisions at the Large Hadron Collider were conducted two years after the accelerator was completed in 2010. Prior to that, similar tests had been conducted at a previous facility, but the prototype particle research facility was much less energetically charged. The 2010 tests took place at a total energy of 7 terelectron volts, nearly four times higher than any previous series of tests. Further upgrades increased the intensity to produce a combined energy of 13 terelectron volts. In 2018, the plant was abruptly shut down. Locals linked the plant shutdown to a strange weather phenomenon that appeared over Geneva during the summer. In addition, residents of Switzerland and neighboring regions in southern Germany and France reported strange phenomena and seismologists recorded many small earthquakes. However, it is officially claimed that all this has nothing to do with the shutdown of the facility. The Large Hadron Collider has solved some big mysteries over the years, such as the Higgs boson particle. Before the collision in 2012, the Higgs boson particle and the Higgs field were only a theory because researchers could not detect them. After further upgrades to the collider during the series of tests, the Higgs boson finally detected. Researchers also sought more information about dark matter and so-called ghost particles, or neutrinos, which are similar to electrons but carry no electrical charge and are created in the interior of stars. The Higgs mechanism is a theoretical concept that explains how particles acquire their mass. The Higgs field permeates all of space and gives mass to other elementary particles as they move. Without the Higgs field, most particles, including quarks and electrons, would have no mass and would continue to move through space at the speed of light without taking solid form. Thus, the field plays an important role in the formation of matter and is therefore the basic structure of the universe. The discovery of the Higgs boson was announced in 2012 and it was a great success for particle physics. At that time, talk of the god particle became increasingly common in the media. Hypothetical objects of exotic matter composed of strange quarks. Strange quarks are one of the six directions of quarks, the fundamental building blocks of the hadron, which also include protons and neutrons. Unlike the light up and down quarks that make up ordinary matter, strange quarks are heavier and more unstable. The idea behind strange light is that it can be a collection of strange quarks in a stable state. They can form when enough energy is applied to create strange quarks and hold them in a large system until they decay. Oddly enough, they can also be formed by the collision of particles with extremely high energy. One of the special properties of strange lights is their stability compared to ordinary matter. It is hypothesized that, once formed, strange lights can serve as a catalyst to transform ordinary matter into strange matter. This has led to scientific debates about whether strange lights could pose a potential danger if they are created in our environment. 
Experts have argued that the strange light that broke free from the experimental facilities in Geneva could threaten the stability of the entire universe. So the criticism is more than justified. After all, strange lights are so-called, not least because they are strange or unpredictable. Who knows what paths such a particle might take to escape? But CERN is not giving up hope. They are now planning to further improve collision energies and the detectors that record particle behavior. What do you say? Is this science or madness?